So now you are in Airbus 320 simulator cockpit. This, as you see, we are uh, parked on the runway and it is Hong Kong airport, runway 07. This is the Airbus 320 cockpit. On the overhead panel, we have electrical system, hydraulic system, flight control system switches. This is our autopilot control system. This is our display, navigation display, flight path display, engine flight controls. And this is central pedestal where we have throttle quadrant, which controls the uh, power of the aircraft. And this is the flap and this is uh, spoilers and these are the two fuel switches that people were actually looking for a uh, uh, few months back okay so the aircraft this is airbus 320 aircraft uh, designed for people who have who are non aviators to sit in the pilot seat and experience flying where they actually do the flying on their own take off touchdown land turn around everything they do on their own okay uh, we are trying to educate people about uh, aviation and aviation hazard as to why they should be more patient and how safety compliant we are. So uh, coming back to this, if you see we have uh, a panel out here, this is our flight control panel. This is how pilot sees whether there is uh, uh, everything green in the cockpit is good, right? So I see my speed brakes are here, uh, ELAC 1, ELAC 2 is here, pitch trim is there. So I, I, I see that, you know, uh, most of the things which I, uh, which I find is okay. Uh, coming back to the problem that we are uh, discussing, the computer system problem. So it is elevator and aileron computer system. So computer number one and computer number two. So we, the computer number one, that is ELAC one, which is uh, here on the flight control. If you can see this one, can you see the ELAC, ELAC one written out here? Yeah. And if you see here, this is ELAC 2. These are the two computer interaction panels. Okay. ELAC 1, as I told you, controls the rolling of the aircraft, aileron, and ELAC 2 controls the pitching of the aircraft. However, if one computer fails, the other computer can do both roles. Okay. The problem that has been found with the software upgrade of 2024, that ELAC 2, which is here, okay, is having a software problem. Okay, the purpose of these computers are to give the correct control inputs, give indication and also monitor fault, right? So they are in effect brain and nervous system of the aircraft, right? 